Hi, my name is Preeti, and I am a partner technology manager here at Google. My team works with partners and developers to build exceptional integrations on Google Assistant. I've been at Google over seven years, and I'm based out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Welcome to this session on Discovery for App Actions. Now that you've heard about the types of intents we're launching, vertical intents, custom intents, and common, common intents, let's talk about how you can be successful on the platform. Whether you're building an app action to help with creating a social media posting or with online shopping, your users are out there looking for an easier way to get those tasks done. Just as it's important to build a strong voice powered experience that deep links into your app, it's also important to make sure that it's easy to find those experiences. That's why Google is investing significantly in discovery for app actions. Let's talk about some general discovery options that are available. The assistant can suggest app actions even when the app name is not specified. You can also proactively recommend an app action when a user isn't quite sure what to do. All of this is based on a user's habits and past behavior. Let's say you have a user that regularly follows Taylor Swift on Twitter. Let's say this user has tried the Google Assistant and said, hey Google, show me Taylor Swift on Twitter a number of times before. The next time the user opens the Assistant to just simply search for Taylor Swift, a suggestion will show up at the bottom of the Google Assistant app to show on Twitter. The user can either tap the suggestion or say the voice command to go to the natural next step of looking at that profile. I also mentioned that the assistant can proactively suggest an action, even when the user isn't sure what to do. Let's assume a user opens up the assistant and pauses for a couple of seconds. In this case, the assistant will suggest that the user try saying a popular action. Let's look at another example. Let's say you're a loyal Walmart customer. You enjoy using the Walmart grocery app to make online orders. You also enjoy using the Google Assistant to very quickly and easily book a time with Walmart. Now, if you've done this a number of times, the next time you happen to, let's say, open the Assistant and you find yourself not sure what to do because, hey, that happens to the best of us, the Assistant will suggest that you try saying, book a time with Walmart, just in case that was something you were meaning to do this week. So what does this mean for developers? How can you ensure that your app action is ready to help a user at exactly the right time? Just keep one thing in mind. Make sure you think about the user experience early on when you're integrating. That way, when a user tries it out for the first time, and if they have a positive experience, there's a higher likelihood that they'll do it again. That's it. The rest is based on user habits. There's no additional work required. Just make sure that your app action delivers a positive experience every single time. Now let's take a step back and look at how users engage with their mobile apps. Consider this. Studies have shown that the average user has more than 40 apps on their phone. Each user is unique and they have their own specific needs, which is why we're excited about a new feature called Shortcuts, which allows users to customize a short voice command to access their favorite apps. It also comes with a convenient settings UI, which we'll talk you through next. Let's look at a user that enjoys using the MyFitnessPal app to check their calorie intake. She has tried using the Google Assistant to say, hey Google, check my calories on MyFitnessPal. And she enjoyed the experience so much that she developed a habit of doing it every day after lunch. Now with shortcuts, she has the ability to customize that exactly the way she wants. All she has to do is say, hey Google, create a shortcut. And she's immediately transported into the settings interface for assistant enabled apps. In this first tab, she'll see a list of suggested shortcut commands based on the apps that she uses most frequently. She can click on the plus sign next to the MyFitnessPal shortcut to add it to her list of shortcuts. Next, she can customize it to just two words if she wants, check calories. Note how the app name does not need to be specified. And now she's happier with how much faster it's going to be when she does that every day. The best part for developers 
is that users now have the power to make your app their go-to when they want to get something done quickly. But that's not all. After a shortcut is created, it's eligible to show up as a suggestion at the bottom of the Google Assistant app. Let's look at another example. Are you someone that likes to look up hiking trails and all trails? Did you create a shortcut to make it easy to start recording a hike in the app? Let's assume the answer is yes, and that you created a shortcut for start my hike. After using it a couple of times, you'll notice that when you open the Google Assistant app, it shows up as a suggestion at the bottom of the screen. You can either tap the suggestion, or you can say the voice command, and it'll take you directly into the All Trails app to start recording that hike. So what can developers do to take advantage of shortcuts? There's no additional work required. After you implement your app actions and tents in your actions.xml file, you can sit back and relax knowing that Google will take care of the rest. But what if you're a developer that wants to go further? What if you want to raise awareness in your user base about the convenience of creating a shortcut command? There is one thing you can do. Promotion within your app. Discovery is best when it's contextual. Here's an example of what Yahoo Mail is planning to promote in their app in the next couple of months. Later this year, we'll also share best practices for developers that want to take that extra step and promote within their app. And there you have it. To recap, we talked about general discovery options like suggestions and proactive recommendations with the try saying prompt. We also talked about a new feature called shortcuts. We hope you found this session useful in understanding the discovery options available to you. With that, I'd like to hand it over to Jamie from our partnerships team, who is interviewing Corey Bozart from MyFitnessPal to talk about their experience integrating with App Actions and also how they're thinking about discovery. A big welcome to Corey and Jamie. Awesome. Thanks so much, Preeti. And thanks, everyone, for joining us today. I'm Jamie Hirshhorn, and I lead some of our product partnerships work over here on the Google Assistant. I'm based in New York, and I've been at Google for around seven years. I'm joined by a very special guest today, um, our fearless friend and VP of product over at MyFitnessPal, Corey Bozarth. Welcome, Corey. He's joining us from California and has a strong track record of building some amazing brand and user experiences at MyFitnessPal and previously at Yahoo, Visa, PayPal, and Wells Fargo and others. Um, one fun fact about Corey is that he's recently developed a, a serious passion for woodworking. So we're hoping that maybe we can learn a thing or two today um, during our session. But anyhow, thanks so much for joining us, Corey. Welcome. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, well, let's dive right in. We're really eager to hear about your team's experiences and how you think about the Assistant and how you thought about building for the Google Assistant. So there's so much new technology out there today uh, for app developers. How did your team choose to build and work with us on the Google Assistant? Yeah, so we chose to build for Google Assistant uh, for a couple reasons. Um, number one is just the ubiquitous nature of the platform. Um, it's everywhere and represents a very substantial portion of the MyFitnessPal audience. And then number two, given that reach um, and penetration, uh, and the fact that we're always looking for ways to improve the nutrition tracking and logging experience for our users, uh, we looked at Google Assistant as a really important strategic area of opportunity for us. And why did you decide to prioritize voice specifically? And what kinds of problems were you trying to solve by launching an experience like this with App Actions? Sure. So we decided to prioritize voice for MyFitnessPal because really long term, we do actually see voice as an incredibly powerful interaction model um, that represents tremendous upside uh, in terms of removing the friction that's inherent in the nutrition tracking and logging experience. And we viewed App Action specifically uh, as a really great low cost way for us to begin this journey in earnest, um, especially given how focused App Actions is on driving re-engagement with our users, uh, and especially how easy it is to integrate. In terms of the, the which problems we're trying to solve, it's, it's really simple, it's straightforward for us. All we're trying to do is make it as easy and efficient as possible for our users to track their nutrition, right? You know, we're in the business of helping people establish new healthy habits, if you will. And we all know establishing habits is incredibly difficult. So any indication or any potential impediment to that uh, habit formation just can totally derail someone's progress. 
And so we look at um, app actions as really a way for us to supplement the experiences we've built, leveraging voice to make that experience so much easier. Um, and so it's just a really exciting opportunity for us. Once you took the leap and decided to move forward, what was the actual development experience like for your product and end teams? Yeah, the development experience was actually incredibly simple. Um, it took one of our engineers just a two week sprint to complete the development. And largely it's, it's based on the fact that it, it integrates so effectively with our existing deep link framework. Um, and I, I'll be honest, I was surprised at the, the, the level of upside that we're getting from a feature with such little, little overhead. So it's been uh, surprisingly simple. Let's dive in a little bit deeper now and hear about how my fitness pal uh, thinks more broadly about discovery and how this played a role in your app actions experience um, and how you just think about it more broadly as a business. So why is discoverability really essential for my fitness pal and some of the other connected fitness brands under um, under Arbor? Sure. So discoverability uh, is important for us because quite frankly, you know, it's not easy to deliver features and functionality to your users, especially at the scale of MyFitnessPal. There's so much rigor that goes behind just figuring out what we want to deliver um, to help our users be more successful. And so if we have a discoverability or engagement problem, um, we're kind of dead in the water. Uh, so when we take the time to figure out these features and functionality that we want to deliver, you know, if, if the value isn't clear and conspicuous to our users, then, then really what's the point? And so we need to make sure that if we're putting in the time and energy to develop something like this with Google or any partner, really, um, there has to be enough awareness and usage of the feature for us to gauge product market fit and ultimately iterate on uh, long term. And so really the integration of app actions uh, with MyFitnessPal was really no different. Um, but one of the great things that we're discovering through this process is that um, there's so many levers available to us right out of the box to help drive discoverability and engagement. So whether it's from the settings UI um, all the way over to you know, Google making intelligent decisions around recommending shortcuts to our audience. There just seemed to be a, a host of features that we can rely on to help make sure discoverability wasn't a problem. And on the topic of shortcuts, that's really, quite frankly, blue sky. We're just excited to see how our users engage with shortcuts. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, you know, we're in the business of kind of helping people establish good habits. And that's incredibly hard, but it's also incredibly unique how these users go about Establishing those habits is just is really a unique process. Those can be such personalized actions to take. So uh, we're excited to see how our audience leverages that capability to make their overall tracking and nutrition journey and, and achieving their health and fitness goals that much easier. So Corey, how do you think about the long-term success of an integration like App Actions for the business? We're considering long-term success with app actions like we do with everything we develop. And that's really gonna start with making sure that we're monitoring the usage and uh, the engagement with the feature set. Um, and really the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna try to overdrive discoverability and awareness initially, just to make sure we're saturating our audience with the idea that this feature can add value. Um, and one of the reasons actually what we're kind of excited about too is I talked about some of the features and functionality that were available outside, you know, right out of the box. Um, there's another one upcoming, which is the in-app promo, which uh, we're excited about given the, the eye it's gonna to have to getting this app actions in front of our audience um, in a very conspicuous and meaningful way to make sure that they understand um, how using this feature set is gonna help them be more successful on their, on their health and fitness journey. And what are some things that you're looking forward to from Google in the future? Look, we're always excited to see what Google cooks up next, um, but quite frankly, I think what's exciting for us at this point is just continuing this journey of the collaboration and the co-development. Um, we just, we really do believe that there's tremendous upside here to unlock real value for our community of users um, in partnership with Google. So we look at this as really just the beginning um, of a longer term relationship and journey. So we're excited about it. Thank you again, Corey, so much for jumping on, for your time, for your fearlessness in trying a new project like um, App Actions with us and for integrating on the Google Assistant. Uh, we really appreciate you jumping on today. We know that discoverability is essential for both our users and developers, and with App Actions, we want to make it simpler by baking discoverability features into our platform through things like recommendations, suggestion chips, and in-app promos. Please check out the Assistant Developer website to learn more about these features. Thank you.